If you find yourself in the situation where you're constantly giving to people who maybe don't give in the way that you give and it's starting to impact your life in a negative way, there's three tips that I want to share with you right now. And I think these three tips will help you. Now, you're probably wondering where these three tips came from. These three tips first came from my own personal experience because I am a giver. I'm a giver. I love giving. I love helping. I love contributing. I love trying to add value to people. So I'm a natural giver as well as a professional giver, right? And then these tips are also going to be found inside of my care package book. All right. So look, let's just let's just get to the point. I don't want to waste your time. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is something that hundreds of people have probably told you. You have to set healthy boundaries, right? Now you're going to say, okay, I know that I need to set healthy boundaries, but how, right? And that's what's important. How? How do you set healthy boundaries? So the first tip is you have to set healthy boundaries. And then the second tip is the way that you set healthy boundaries is you got to go deep inside here. You got to go deep inside here. You got to go deep inside here. And you have to ask yourself, okay, how do I want my life to go? How do I want this to go? You know, if you guys have played sports before, the coach comes up with a, a game plan. The coach, the head coach will meet with the assistant coaches and the assistant coach, the assistant coach is supposed to, you know, get down to the, the nitty gritty detail of a very specific thing. So, for example, I play football. So you have, you know, linemen coaches, linebacker coaches, defensive back coaches, special team coaches, defensive uh, coaches, you have the offense coach, you have the quarterback coach, you have the running back coach, the wide receiver coach, the offensive line coach, right? So you have like 12 coaches and then you have the, uh, the head coach. So I want you to break down your life the exact same way. Like you are the head coach, right? But you also manage other smaller components. Like you have a financial coach, which is you. And then you have like, let's just say like your fitness coach, which can be you. And then let's say you have like uh, your social coach, which is you, you know, uh, the person in charge of your social life. Right. So you have like all I could keep going on and on, but you get it. So you have all these components of your life. And essentially a head coach, his job or her job of any sport, in my opinion, is simply to manage, right? Manage the game and manage the coaches. That person is not doing all the work. They're not They're not the, the only person coming up with the game plan, right? This person is bringing this game plan. This person is bringing that game plan, right? So in the analogy of looking at yourself as a coach, you are the head coach, right? And you're looking at these smaller components of your life, and then it's just like, okay, you know what? The financial coach is saying, I need to budget more. So you know what? I'm going to budget more. I'm going to decrease my, my, my expenses and increase my income. That's what my budget coach is telling me. Uh, my mental health is effed up because I'm stressing over money. So I'm going to listen to my mental coach right now. I, I like what, what he is bringing to the table. Now, over here, my social coach is telling me, you know what? I've been going out too much. I've been at the bar too much. I've been going out too much. I've um, been partying too much. And it's distracting me from my work and my sleep schedule, right? My sleep schedule coach is saying, hey, you need to get your eight hours, right? And you can, you can do this for yourself. So essentially, you do, let's just call it an audit, right? You audit your actual life where you are. And then you want to project like, okay, and don't go too far in the future because that's stressful. Just... Just say a month from now, two months from now, like, okay, if I change my life today, right, if I take this audit and I take the information these coaches are giving me today and I just stay consistent for the next 30 days, what will my life be like, you know, next month? It will be different. It'll be different. So essentially, you want to set healthy boundaries. How do you set healthy boundaries? You got to do an audit of your life. You have to do a deep dive and you have to look at each component of your life and you have to look at what needs a little bit more attention and what you need to kind of stop doing and come a little bit away from. And that's how you that's how you begin to set healthy boundaries. You have to know, like, what is the purpose? What is your game plan? You need to know your game plan. You need to know what you're focused on. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Right. So here's the second tip. Let's say you're in a situation where you're just giving more, you're giving, 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 and nothing is quite coming back right now. We already understand that we have to establish healthy boundaries. The next tip when you're giving, 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 if you, you have to understand and you have to be realistic. Everyone doesn't have the heart you have. So there's basically two outcomes. 
You're either going to meet people who have the heart you have, who give the way you give, who love the way you love and can respect each other's efforts the way that you do, or you're going to have to deal with the fact that not everybody has the heart you have. Either way can work. Either way can be successful for you. You just have to figure out how you, and you may have to do a conglomerate of both. You may have half the people in your life give the way you give. They love the way you love. They're always available. You know, they're always giving, giving you ten attention and, and, and good energy. And then the other half of the people in your life that you like and love, they just don't have the heart you have. You got to figure out that, that perfect balance. Now, I'm going to leave you guys with this tip. This is the third tip. Now, all of these are important. You got to figure out your own life and, 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 you know, what's most important to you. But this is the third tip as far as... In the context of, okay, I don't have healthy boundaries set. I'm giving too much. This is the third tip. I just got to catch my breath. <laughs> you have to understand that some people are going to meet you in a space of giving the way that you're able to meet them. Right. People who give are people who have abundance. When you have abundance, when you have an abundance of love, an abundance of good energy, an abundance of, of, of money, an abundance of health, you are able to give all of it. You're able to give because you have it. Sometimes you got to understand that other people can't give because they have scarcity mindset and sometimes they don't have the resources. Sometimes they don't have the love to give. Sometimes they don't have the attention to give. Sometimes they don't have the, the information, the communication, the love to give. So if you come across a situation where you're just a giver and you're going in and in and in, I already told you to set healthy boundaries. I already told you to, to trust life as it is and, and to just really understand it. But Lastly, you just have to understand that everybody may not have the heart you have. That doesn't make them a bad person and that doesn't make you better than them. This is all about freeing your energy. This is all about, I just need to understand what I'm dealing with. And I hope this helped. I really hope this helped. I'm about to get out of here. I'm probably about to go stretch, do some yoga, get a little three mile run in and lift because I love my life and I love the abundant fitness lifestyle that I live. And I hope that you're practicing your own fitness lifestyle too. Motorcycle guys going by one of my neighbors. Bye bye, neighbor. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going on tour. I'm going on tour. I'm going on tour. I'm dropping book number eight, the Free Your Energy book. I'm going on tour, the Free Your Energy tour. Here's where I'm going San Diego, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Chicago, Miami, Florida. And you're probably wondering when and where and times and how much. And obviously, I can't say all of that here because it would take me 10 minutes. Go to my website. SylvesterMcNutt.net. You can find it on the link in my bio. You, SylvesterMcNutt.net. That's my real name. <laughs> SylvesterMcNutt.net. I'm not sure why I'm saying it that way. SylvesterMcNutt.net. But that's where you got to go. Go there. Get your tickets. Everybody can afford it. I made the prices so everybody can afford it. Everybody can afford it. Come through. Get you a ticket. You got to have a ticket to come through. We're going to talk about freeing your energy. I want you to be free from, from the, the, the minuscule, the pessimistic mindsets that you may have that could be plaguing you. I want you to be free from any pain that may be holding on to you, latching on to you. I want you to be free so you can create the mental clarity that you deserve. I want you to be free so you can create the happiness and the abundant lifestyle that you deserve i want you to be free i want you to free your energy with me i'll see you in the next one